Killer Brewery where we bring you the brews, reviews, and how-tos. And you finally made it to the end of this video where we are reviewing and tasting this Nelson Forward Session IPA. Now, if you would have talked to me a month ago, I would have told you this was going to be a pale ale. It's no longer in the category of pale ale as I would give it. I think it's definitely more of a session IPA. Uh, nonetheless, it's a very good beer. So let's break into it. Let's go over the recipe real quick. This is 100% Maris Otter. And I thought with the Maris Otter, it would give it enough of that malty backbone. And to be quite honest, I think it would have if I wouldn't have bittered it as much as I did. I was shooting for a pale ale. This is 5.4% ABV and it's really delightful. It's really drinkable or crushable as I love to say, uh, but I really wouldn't peg it as a pale ale just for the, the bitterness aspect that this has. I think it's a little too prevalent in the beer. So I would peg this more session IPA category. So I told you it was 100% Maris Otter. Now let's break into the hops. It was a Cascade, Simcoe, and Nelson beer that's fermented with Imperial yeast, flagship. All the hops are very much forward. It's not as much of a malty backbone as I was hoping for, for something like this, that I was shooting for a pale ale. I probably would have gave it a dash of Crystal 10, maybe Crystal 40. I think Crystal 40 would benefit this beer greatly, just a little bit, maybe like, you know, three to 5%. It would just give it that caramelly sweetness that would benefit the bitterness that is in this beer. And I truly think if you were to keep the recipe the same, add three to 5% caramel 40 or crystal 40, this would be the American pale that I was shooting for. Let's break into the beer. Did hit it with a small dry hop of Nelson because when I was trying it and sampling it during fermentation or after fermentation, it just didn't have that pop of uh, what I was shooting for when I wanna use Nelson. Nelson to me is a very, almost nostalgic hop because when I was just getting into craft beer, Nelson really stood out to me and I feel like it's a very polar hop. I feel like most people love it or they hate it. Some people say gooseberry and to be quite honest, at least me in the States, California, I don't get to try gooseberry, but if I'm smelling it and you wanna say gooseberry is what I smell, that's what I get. It's a very gooseberry-ish aroma. It's unique as far as New Zealand hops are unique. They have that very distinguishable characteristic both in the aroma and the flavor. This has a very Nelson-like aroma. And if you've ever had Nelson, you know what I'm talking about. Now, if you have not had Nelson, it's uh, earthy in a pleasant way. It's floral in a pleasant way. And it has this, this like unique quality that you've never had from an American hop before. If you've had gooseberry, I'm sure that's what this is. If you have had gooseberry before, make sure to let me know down in the comments because if you have, you're probably the first person I know that has had gooseberry. Not only leave the comment that you've had gooseberry, let everybody know where you're from. Now in the flavor, you're getting a rush of that aroma that came from the Nelson, but it's very much so followed by the citrus quality and the pininess between Cascade and Simcoe. You're getting a very uh, resiny, dank, American character in the taste of this beer that is then followed up by and led by that Nelson quality. I had brewed a Sauvignon Blanc only Saison that I can pick out some of that character in this beer for sure. Nelson to me, again, is super love hate. I personally love Nelson. It's so unique. If you haven't had Nelson, I urge you so much to try it. Mara Sauter only, three hops. Very simple. I'm gonna link the recipe down below for you guys. And now if I were to enter this into a home brewing competition, not only would I enter this into the pale ale category, it stands out amongst the crowd as far as a pale ale would go. Also enter this into the session and even IPA category. If I had the amount of beer that I could, 
I would enter it into all three. It has an adequate bitterness. Flavor is just bombarded by all three hops, Cascade, Simcoe, Nelson. It's just a really delightful mix between all the hops. It's really good. Follow me on Instagram. You will. I have something up my sleeve in regards to can versus bottles, and that will be posted on the YouTube channel in a month or so at Hop Killer Brewery, all one word. If you got any value out of this video or any entertainment out of this video, make sure to smash the like button down below. Again, if you have or enjoyed Nelson, I want to know you personally if you enjoy it or not, because like I said before, it's a very polar yes or no hop. Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Who's that guy on the camera? Is that Dylan from the Hop Killer Brewery? I think that's him. Wow, he got a new lens. Very good quality.